So the Stardust Orders Chase Final is next. So we've got a final commentary for SO7. And let's take a look at the card. At the top we've got the wonderful for Joshua Sutherland, Dante for Martin Leedham, California Dreaming, Padre Hogan, Capo Valdano, Darren Thompson, Savage Garden, Graham Clutterbuck, E-Commerce, Leon Van Rensburg, Sacra Castles, and Amber Reef for Alex Cherry, Storm Crow for Padre Hogan, and Titch Jazz for... Alex Cherry, so just 10 again in the final. And away they go. Disappointingly small field, really. And you've got a qualifier every week, and there'll be too many opportunities for them to go elsewhere as they come towards the first of the 14 fences on the mild May course for this one. What's all over the Grand National course back in SO6 days a couple of times? My very first season in this. League as a trainer, or first season as a commentator, I didn't have any horses. My first season as a trainer, I actually came first and second in this final when it was run over the Grand National fences. Not quite managed anything like that since, mind you. Anyway, e commerce is in the lead as they get to the second. We're on Dante over it in second, then Sacra Castles and the Wonderful. Titch Jazz is after that one, and then California Dreaming. And Storm Crow and Savage Gardens, they get over the next. All safely over the pace is hot and e commerce is setting it. You don't see too many Leon van Rensburg front runners blazing a trail, so this could be quite interesting. And normally, if you see a Leon van Rensburg horse in these in these races, they're carrying top weight as well. And well, this one isn't, it's well down the list. So e commerce then in front. Well, the newly crowned champion trainer Leon van Rensburg. Gives me an opportunity to thank him for stepping in and helping out with me with the jumps commentaries this season as they get over that next one. Oh, he wasn't all that keen on doing jump commentating. But he gave it a go and made more than a success of it in my opinion and hopefully he'll be doing some more next season. E-commerce then in the lead over number six. We're on the wonderful in second. Sacra Cattles is third. Dante is fourth. Then Savage Garden and Amber Reef with California Dreaming after that one. And then Storm Crow, Cavo of Aldamo, and finally Titch Jazz. So that's the big screen then. And over the fence, it'll be the last next time round. It was nearly the last this time round. More e commerce, the way he got over that one. Just about managed to stay on his feet. That's the winning post then, and it's left hand down, chaps. One more circuit to go in the SO7 season. There'll be a couple more races still to come. They've got the National Flat Race and the Grand National Hunter, I think it's called, to finish the season. Leon will be taking you through them. This will be my farewell, and it's e commerce who's in the lead by three. Sacra Castles in second, and the wonderful uh, Savage Garden, Dante after that one, and then Amber Reef, California Dream and Dreaming's next, then Cabo Aldamo, Titch Jazz, and finally at the back for Padre Hogan is Storm Crow. Over the eighth, they go. Oh, safely over that one. E commerce. Continuing to lead, but not by as far now. The wonderful is in second as they get over the ninth. Dante's moved into third. Amber Reef is fourth. Over the next, they go again. E commerce was a little bit slow. And the wonderful and Sacra Castles have come through to challenge. Dante looks to be travelling nicely. That one's an 18 furlong specialist though, so could be a little bit too far for him. Then comes Cabo Valdamo, Savage Gardens after that one, and then Amber Reef as they get over the 11th. They've got just three to take now, and still e-commerce holds on. The wonderful under a big weight is second. Dante is in third. On the outside is Cabo Valdamo. Sacra Castles is next. California Dreaming trying to run on goes past Savage Garden. They're racing down towards the final three furlongs now and Cabo Valdamo hits the front over to third last. Cabo 
Aldano in front from e-commerce and Dante the wonderful still there but under a big weight California Dream is the one, is the one that looks to be going best of all on the outside but Cabo Valdamo has got first run Cabo Valdamo coming to the second last in front stood off it Dante over it in second California Dream in third e-commerce and the wonderful are now beaten it's Cabo Valdamo and Dante these two are pulling clear as they race down towards the final fence in there and it's Cabo Valdamo from Dante and Dante takes it up Dante comes up towards the final fence in there and he's suddenly two or three clear and he pops over the last and Dante who was in the very first season of SO7 as a four year old he's got a bow out this season with a win in the starters order seven final Dante wins it Cabo Valdamo California Dream in the wonderful Sacred Castles all the way back to Tips Jazz and what a way to end your stint in the commentary box by calling them your own winner in the final so Dante takes it oh, I must admit I wonder not which one to put him in because he was in the hurdle as well and looks like I finally made the right choice so Dante takes it let's take a full look at the list then so Dante for Martin Lillian was the winner Cabo Valdamo for Darren Thompson second California Dream in Padre Hogan third the wonderful Joshua Sutherland fourth Savage Garden for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth so that's it from me and this next season is going to start on what did we say the 9th of september so get your horses in ready for the 9th of september leon is going to take you through the final couple of races of the season i hope you've all enjoyed the season and i hope you're all back next year for season 14. <laughs>